Hello once again. Here are the four batteries I've been tweeting about on Twitter and today I'm going to talk about how I've wired them up to my inverter. You probably noticed the mystery box as well which I thought was quite fitting because batteries too are mystery boxes albeit very heavy ones. First things first these batteries are 12 volts that's to match my inverter because you can get different voltages in inverters and different voltages of batteries. At the end of the day it's all down to choice. The standard voltages are 12 volts, 24 volts and uh, 48 volts. The higher the voltage the higher the efficiency in the system. But I chose 12 volts overall because it's the most common to get paraphernalia and in emergencies you can connect up to your car engine to either run the inverter or to charge the batteries. Each one of these batteries is rated at 110 amp hours which simply means each battery can supply 110 amps at 12 volts for an hour total or 55 amps an hour for a total of 2 hours or 11 amps an hour for a total of 10 hours etc etc but it's not as simple as that because you shouldn't let a battery dip below 50% of its capacity and that's where the mystery box comes in all I know is these batteries have little stickers on them stating that they're 110 amp hours but I don't truly know when they're exactly half empty or a quarter empty or that they're even 110 amp hours to start with because you can't see anything inside but you can use a voltmeter to have a rough idea the less amp hours that there are available the less volts that there are across the terminals but like I said it's not a simple yes no answer these batteries are connected in parallel which means all the positive terminals are connected to each other and all the negative terminals are connected to each other this keeps the voltage the same but still uses the batteries collectively of 440 amp hours if I connected them all in something that's called series, which is daisy chaining them, where the negative is connected to the next battery is positive, you ramp up the voltage, so these four batteries will produce a total of 48 volts, but the amp hours will still stay at 110, because you can't create power out of nothing. Quite a big downside to batteries connected up in series is if you can imagine Christmas lights, the old kind, and if one bulb blows, all the bulbs go out. This is the case with an inverter connected to those batteries, but the Christmas lights, the more modern ones that have two wires going to each bulb and then two back out, they're the ones that are connected in parallel, and if one bulb blows, the rest continue as normal because the circuit isn't broken. So we can all agree that this is a far better way for a backup system to be wired in. Here I've got a socket tester, one of my many different like indicators and measuring devices. This is just to show you plug it into a wall, everything's safe and everything's earthed and you've got no problems there. One thing to do keep in mind is when the batteries are in parallel connect the positive side of the inverter to battery 1 right there and the negative side of the inverter to battery 4 over there so this just keeps everything equally shared through the parallel batteries because if you kept the positive and negative through battery 1 battery 1 will deplete first and then you won't get the full efficiency of the system but to sum things up most of it still just guesswork anyway so I'll just catch you later. Oh, how useful.